Ali Al Ahmed is director at the Institutes for Gulf Affairs and an expert on Saudi politics. I asked him about President Xi's trip and where China Arab ties are heading. It is very important because I think it brings a, an element that was missing in the region. Uh, if you compared the, the welcome that uh, uh, President Xi uh, received in Riyadh and compared it to any American president, for example, uh, there is no comparison. Uh, and this would be the same for if, if he had landed in another state in the region. Uh, I think there is a, an increasing feeling that uh, the United States' role in the region has not been helpful, uh, not only to the people of the region, but also to, the, to these governments. Uh, it's, uh, uh, let us remember, if you compare China and the U.S. in the region, China did not participate in killing anybody, did not bomb anyone, did not have any uh, military uh, sort of uh, expansionism or, or, or bases or anything in the region. China makes things, uh, so you are, you are comparing two powers, one that it brings roads, hospitals and buildings and construction and economic uh, progress, and uh, another power that is uh, interested in one thing, the business of war. So business versus the business of war, I think that even uh, the, the states, the governments in that region now has come to that conclusion that it's better to do uh, business with China rather than, than go to war with the United States. President Biden, of course, visited Saudi Arabia in July in his meeting with uh, regional leaders from the Gulf as well as Egypt, Jordan and Iraq. He said this, uh, I quote, about the U.S.'s role in the Middle East, we will not walk away and leave a vacuum to be filled by China. Is that what's happening here? Uh, uh, yes, I think this, this, uh, the tone itself is, 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 is not good because it, it shows that the United States is, uh, owns the, the, the region. And that's not the case. Uh, uh, whatever uh, Biden said did not matter. Uh, 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 China now is the number one trading partner with, uh, with, uh, with Saudi Arabia and, and all Gulf countries. And that is due in large part uh, to the United States that I have personally uh, tried to say, st stop selling uh, arms to the region, start you know, engaging in economic uh, development. But they did not do that, and they lost in that process. And looking at the economic relationship, energy, of course, has been the bedrock of ties between not just China and Saudi Arabia, but other Gulf states as well. But we've seen on this trip a range of deals signed in more strategic areas, things like technology, uh, education, as well as language and military cooperation as well between the two sides. How long term are Gulf states thinking when it comes to their relationship with Beijing? I think uh, every, uh, I, I know for a fact, for example, Kuwait wa wanted to sign, Iraq wanted to sign this, uh, you know, 50 year deal with, with China. The United States stood in the way. And that is, that's very puzzling to some, to some people. Why would the U.S. oppose Iraq getting, uh, engaging with China in, in rebuilding that country or Kuwait? transforming its, its infrastructure uh, with the help of China. Uh, the U.S. is not doing it, so why not, why not go to China?